Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Today we will be looking at Jenkins plugins. Actually I was going through uh, Jenkins uh, documentation and uh, there I saw like we have a uh, lot of Jenkins plugins actually uh, some something around 1800 plus plugins that we can use with Jenkins or we can extend Jenkins uh, with those plugins. Okay. Basically, like as you know, like Jenkins is a very popular open source uh, automation tool, build automation tool, uh, which is widely used in every organization and and every organization also uses a lot of plugins, uh, customized plugins or the plugins that are provided by the Jenkins to extend their server, Jenkins server and user features. Okay, but uh, every uh, plugin uh, plugin uh, version is compatible compatible with a particular uh, version of Jenkins that is installed on the environment okay so how how we will be knowing like which Jenkins version is it, uh, which uh, version of plugin requires which version of Jenkins uh, to be installed okay so that is uh, that is what like to, uh, we are going to see uh, in this video like how we can know uh, like a particular version of plugin requires which version of Jenkins to be available okay so let's jump in okay so I'm going to show you a small Python script uh, which we can use to extract those details so we'll be uh, extract the details related to the plugin version and the compatible Jenkins version uh, that is supposed to be there okay so first before uh, going into the uh, step let us look at uh, the plugins uh, portal of Jenkins so if you go into Google and try to search for Jenkins plugins okay it will take you straight away to the plugins Jenkins.io website so this is the main portal of Jenkins from there you can uh, look at the Jenkins plugins and download and extract those plugins okay so let us see uh, like uh, any one of the plugin that we want to check uh, so the popular uh, one of the popular uh, plugin is Maven uh, which is used to build the Java projects so let us try to search for that one and you see like there are a lot of plugins available so let me go into the first one Maven integration so this is a plugin uh, that is uh, actually provided by Jenkins which you can use uh, in your Jenkins server so as you can see there is a, a description about it change log information and everything related to this plugin and if you go into this releases uh, tab you can see like all the versions that have been available or install uh, available for installation and there uh, if you see you get to see the plugin name and plugin version so this is very important so this is the part that we will be using uh, to get the details about the plugin okay so let's say if you want to install a particular version of the plugin okay so you can go straight away go into your Jenkins server and try to download uh, that plugin but if you want to install a specific version it won't be possible without actually knowing uh, downloading that particular version okay knowing about the version okay. so let us try to click on this one okay so it will straight away download uh, HPI file okay as you can see it is trying to download a HPI file that is actually a package uh, of the plugin okay so if I try to right click and open this link or copy this link okay and let me remove this HPI related stuff and 1.117 so it will take me to a list of plugins that are available for this Maven integration like all the plugin versions that are available for this this plugin okay so this is how you will get to know like what all plugins are available for a particular uh, type uh, what all plugin versions are available for a particular type so in my case like I'm, we are checking for Maven okay. but 
here uh, so th this, this is from where we will try to extract the details of the plugin version and the compatible Jenkins version okay so let us go into our shell so I have created uh, th three files so this is the first file wherein I have captured the details of the plugin name and the plugin URL basically this is the URL where you will see the list of all the versions that are available for a particular plugin okay so similar way like you can put all the plugins that are used in your organization so uh, uh, in this format like uh, the plugin name comma the URL so that we will try to extract the details about the plugin version and the Jenkins version that is compatible for, required for that plugin version okay so this is the first file that you need to prepare okay and the second uh, file that I wanted to show you is the scripts so this is the Python script that I have prepared which uh, you can see uh, it basically uh, takes the plugin URL okay it takes the plugin URL and using the request and beautiful soap modules okay so what we are doing is we are taking uh, taking that uh, plugins uh, page okay uh, plugins page where we'll where we see all the versions and we are actually extracting the details of h reference okay that is links okay uh, from that particular page wherein the class version at uh, wherein there is a class or, uh, version that is set to uh, attribute of class set to versions okay so basically what i mean to say is so so let us say this is our page so i'm trying to extract this page version source okay and here you can see So if you scroll down here you can see in this list item there is a h reference link with attribute class is equal to version so this is what exactly we are going to actually extract or extract the details about this h reference okay so let me go into my script so as you can see i am trying to find all the references a uh, element references h reference uh, element uh, link reference elements uh, with attributes class is equal to version so this way i'll be able to get all the uh, links which are av available for download and by uh, now what i'm doing is i'm trying to iterate through this uh, links and creating the actual link from which we can download the plugin okay so this is basically i am appending the base url base url of the portal uh, to uh, base url of the portal to that h reference link which we uh, which we are which we have extracted from the the source page the or the plugin page okay so this is the main uh, script uh, uh, which actually does this job okay and now let us look at another script uh, which is a wrapper script so this wrapper script uh, basically what it does is uh, so the initial plugin.list file that we have created it iterates iterates through that plugin list and it will take the url of that plugin and send it to extract links uh, function which actually does the job of that script by the script that we have seen. 
so it takes that input of the plugin url and try to extract the uh, all the plugin versions that are available for that particular plugin okay and then we are calling this extract version function once that uh, once this uh, python uh, script extracts all the download links it creates a file links links.txt file and that file is being used by this extract version function so this function actually uh, takes uh, that file downloads each plugin so as you can see i am downloading downloading here unzipping unzipping that plugin and trying to extract the jenkins version from that manifest file which is available in the hpi of the plugin package okay so once we have extracted the plugin version and the compatible jenkins version that is required for that plugin we are removing all those files okay so this is how i am trying to extract the plugin version and jenkins version details okay so let us try to run this so as you can see it has provided us with the plugin name okay so this is the plugin name and now it is trying to extract all the plugin version and the jenkins version that that, that is required for that particular plugin plugin version okay so this is how like you will get the output okay so let me go into my another shell and you can see that this links.txt file gets created for each plugin so right now for ant plugin we have these many versions that are available for download okay so this is how uh, we are actually uh, we can carry out uh, uh, the execution and try to extract the details of the plugin version and the compatible Jenkins version. So uh, why I'm doing this activity is like there might be a chance that you want to upgrade your Jenkins server and there are a lot of organizations which use uh, very uh, resource intensive and very uh, very quick uh, Jenkins server with a lot of plugins or a lot of features uh, installed on that one but it is very difficult to like migrate uh, that jenkins version until unless you know you know what what plugins are available uh, and what plugins plugin changes are getting uh, uh, what plugin changes are present which might affect your jenkins server when you uh, upgrade it okay so basically like if you want to uh, upgrade a particular plugin from one version to one version you need to know like which Jenkins version is required actually for that plugin version before we are going to upgrade that plugin so without without the Jen, Jen, without upgrading the Jen, uh, to that Jenkins version uh, your plugin may not work okay so that is the reason like we are trying to extract these details to know like uh, which particular Jenkins version may be required before we try to upgrade a particular set of plugins okay and later on like even after the plugin upgrade like uh, there might be a chance of configuration changes uh, in the latest version of the plugins or duplication of some features or addition of new features which might affect your uh, the Jenkins job which might be using those plugin features so you will have to ch uh, make sure like you test those things uh, with the uh, with the test jobs uh, which you have uh, in your environment uh, by executing the, uh, those with the the latest version of the plugins that you have installed on the specific Jenkins server okay so this is how I wanted to show you uh, like a small uh, script that might help you to extract these details I hope you enjoyed watching this video uh, thank you. Thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day.